Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be installing the Vanash Motorsport uh, brake lever, rear brake lever, uh, with the number two pad. Um, uh, Andrew over there happened to find a blemished model that was a customer return, so he gave me a little bit of a discount. I do not consider that to be sponsorship. So um, here's the OEM brake lever. It's it's kind of hard to get to, and I, I looked around and I... I, I I figured, in my opinion, the best way to get this thing out of here would be to do what one guy did, at least one guy, as far as I can tell, and remove this side piece here, basically this whole bit there. Uh, maybe even leaving the brake line connected, maybe, but um, but pretty much just removing um, these bolts here to get this guy off. Now, it does require unbolting the swing arm, and this may be a one-time use bolt, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to retorque it back to spec uh, when I'm done. Let's get started uh, by removing this. All right, so I did end up removing these uh, these two bits here going into the brakes. Let me just give you an idea of what was done. So uh, T50, removing this one. Be very careful on your seating here. Just don't screw it up. There is no thread locker on here, but it is torqued to, it feels like, maybe 70 to 90 newton meters. Uh, and then you're going to have a uh, two T40s on the bottom right down here. And then finally, you're going to have uh, two T30s here that are counter held with two nuts. They're not locking nuts, but you'll need a, uh, a 10 mil uh, wrench to get those taken apart. And then finally, you can just pull this right out of its housing here. So now that we have this off, uh, now we can actually remove the brake lever. It looks like it's going to be a T40 and a T30. And then we're off to the races. Let's get started. All right, so now it's uh, staged at least. So turn it around, you can see. I put a little too much lube there. I'll take some of that off, but basically, I will say this um, the uh, this piece here was really in there with almost like dare I say permanent thread locker. Um, so just make sure you're properly seated. Maybe apply a little bit of heat to it, and you'll get it out. It'll be fine. Just don't 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 strip it out. Uh, the top one was less so. Uh, I found it was easier to put the spring on first, leave this bottom piece off, put the spring on first, and then using your hands just kind of force the brake uh, over the right hole there and then hand tighten as long as you can. Um, you'll know if you're cross threaded pretty quickly. And yeah, that's it. Now I can't, uh, I'm sorry everyone. I, I can't figure out where this piece goes. Um, I have no idea. I've looked at every pattern here. There's no, I, I don't know where this goes. So um, if anyone knows, <laughs> Let me know, but it, it's functionally fine. It has all the same parts that the OEM did. So I, I hope I didn't screw anything up here. Um, in there. Well, other than this piece right here, uh, we're done. Look at that. Now what I might do, now that I'm screwing on this a little bit more, I might um, I might move this slightly back in the stock there. You know, you've got a little bit of gap there to play with. Um, I don't really want this any lower at the moment. But, um, and unfortunately, the adjustment to adjust this lower without doing anything with these two is behind here. It's tucked away. Uh, but that should be enough play. We'll have to get on the trail and see what we think about it. But I like the design of tip number two because it has this, um, this little deflector. It kind of curves at an angle, which is really nice. Um, I put thread locker on these two. Um, not sure if I need it or not, but there was no torque spec given, but I, did, I gave it like 25 pounds or so. Um, I like that. I like how rigid it is. Um, I think that uh, it'll, 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 it's not likely to bend, um, but we won't know until we get out there. Um, I bang up against a bunch of rocks, so this thing will probably get pretty scratched up in the next year or so, uh, which is why I bought the Blemish model, which has this streak here, because I don't really care. It's going to get screwed up anyway. Um, one thing I don't know about is fitment. Will the uh, carbon fiber cover I bought, uh, will the clearance be okay with this? We'll have to see. And yeah, I think this is really, really nice. Uh, I, I did notice when putting this all back together um, that you kind of want to marry this up directly against the swing arm and that lower um, carrier there, and then um, kind of tighten all these down, hand tighten until you get resistance on all of them. And then I, I kind of did a pattern where I just went in clockwise pattern. And then finally, once everything was basically, you know, tightened up as much as it should go before you get a torque wrench out. And then I did um, the lower ones first with their torque wrench. And then I did this one here, this is the highest. Uh, I don't know if that's the order I'm supposed to do it, but that's the way I did it. Uh, but yeah, it's on there. Now to put the foot bag back on, but beautiful, 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 beautiful. Very, very nice. 
Uh, good work, Andrew. Nice job.